Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to draw the ID buzz from Volkswagen. So I'm a designer here at Volkswagen, obviously working from my home. This is my studio slash bedroom. So I wanted to go over with you today on how to draw something like this or something very close to it on manual paper and using some pens and uh, tools that will help you get along the way. So let's check them out. Volkswagen asked me to show you guys how to get to draw this and turn it into something that you can do at home. Uh, first of all, if you do have marker paper or marker pad or electro set, something like that, you can uh, definitely get your hands on something like that uh, online. Now going into the tools we're gonna need. Most of you guys should have this type of Sharpie. But also, if you do have some markers, go ahead and pull them out, but you don't need too many. We're only gonna use two. And the two that we're gonna use is this Copic right here. This is a C4 and then this is C2 and this is 20 percent and the c stands for cool by the way it has blue tones in it very subtle but should be nice for what we're doing i got a yeah statler or stadler point one it's uh just a fine pen it's felt tip so what's really nice is that it produces nice uh consistent lines and then all of you guys should have something like a lead pencil that's going to help us with the layout and proportioning first so this is going to do this is going to be our first stage so we can leave that up here so now that we have our electra set uh marker pad here with some paper we have our lead pencil so we're going to start to use this maybe some pen but we'll see about that and we'll leave these for now just over here because we're going to be figuring out how to proportion our VW ID buzz. So one thing I did here, as you can see, is I made a little fold over handle. And it's just so I can kind of rotate this, grab it without grabbing the paper. But still, even though that's that, it's going to be here. And you can see that I already sort of ticked and located some of the, the key areas of the proportion of the ID buzz and uh, we're going to be defining the rest of it now and i'm going to show you how to do that and first of all basically the, w the way you want to start off a car sketch uh, is always about the perspective and basically the way that we start out perspective we do some perspective lines so get ready get your lead out first you want to start off with the base so you kind of give yourself a little bit of a floor here start off like that and then parallel but just ever so not just a little bit there so let's do another line there let's do another line there let's do another line there and there let's see here and basically what's happening is that these lines are converging out in space way over here. So if you imagine a cube up here and you have your corner, you're gonna have the edges here and here. So you can see that this line and this line will come closer together. And this line and this line will come closer together on the top. So these lines are shorter than this. And that's because we have the perspective and that's part of making things look correct. So that's all we're doing here. It's just hitting those lines, getting that perspective. And the reason why we use the pencil is because we're just mapping out how it all works together. We're gonna do the other side, so we're kind of happy. They're progressing, one, two, three, four, five, six, however many you need. Maybe an extra one here. 
just to kind of help things line up. And then we want to add our perspective the other way. So just like this ground, we're adding this ground now. So our ellipses, let's just go with a sort of ellipse. And I like to start at the front, then kind of correct the rear. Uh, so we will do the front now. And see, the reason why I have this and this is you can twist the paper. So get the paper to where you orientated the best to do these circles. And one recommendation that I do is you go with a line using this perspective. Remember this here? We go right through the middle here. And your ellipse will basically be 90 degrees to that line. And you will insert the ellipse. You can use templates. Feel free to go ahead. It ends up uh, cleaning up the work a lot better. But, uh, you know, sometimes it's not so bad to do freehand. Do another one just right next to it. And basically, I have the ellipses touching here, but a little bit open here. And that's just to kind of give our tire a little bit of area to shine. So with the perspective, we want the rim, we want the tire, and the front corner of it is going to be showing and exposed. So how do we get to the back tire? Well, we draw again our perspective lines just to kind of make sure that they're there and you can use them as guides to your rear and we're going to count the circles so we're going to do another one so we're going to do one one two three and two thirds so three ellipses and two thirds of an ellipse we're going to put our second ellipse and then we just move it over a little bit and we have our second ellipse here with a little bit of a gap just to kind of show that the tire is present now we're gonna go up maybe let's just say like a quarter of this wheel and kind of get that bottom of the body so we're gonna go a little bit darker and we're gonna kick it down a little bit. And we're gonna grab that front ellipse and come down straight. And I know that the ID buzz has a little tiny flick here, so we're gonna go right above this line and just insert a secondary line that kind of whips down. At the very end, we touch down. Emphasize that body line again. And now we're gonna go to the front. So when I told you about this perspective line, boxes are straight, so they have straight lines. If something is round, sort of like a car, it has, it has a radius. So you're gonna have slight core and fade out. And that's gonna be kind of like roughly what we're gonna be doing with this car. So we're gonna add a curve to this. And you can add some more curves. And you can see that I'm not going straight. I'm kinda adding a little bit of a curve. A little bit of a curve. So now, you should start to be able to see what's going on. So about, let's just say halfway between the lines, say the lines here, and then go up, and we're going to put down one line here with a little bit of angle. Remember this angle? Just a little bit. Very similar. And we're gonna go right in front and up. And there's gonna be another line here. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Nah, maybe not so much. We'll keep that one. Keep 
get that one right there. We're gonna worry about these two. This one, this one, this one, and then right at this line. Gonna be there. So now we can darken this line a little bit, darken the top, add a little radius there, a little radius, just a little, little hook, you know? Going a little bit too dark, but it's okay because we're gonna trace over that. Right behind this line here, in this area that we just kind of defined, just a little tiny tag like that, a little bent line, and then two straight lines. Same, keep it parallel. There, and there. That's going to be our tail light. I'm going to put two, three dashes just right there. They don't have to be perfect, but there has to be three. Now, let's get some of the headlights. So coming off this line, help you define a little bit more. It's a little bit of fuzzy, just a little bit, but it's okay. It's gonna disappear in the future. So coming off of this radius here that we did, this little S line that we made, going back and forwards, coming from this, we connect that just ever so slightly. A third of the way, so maybe a third of the way, that's the point. Just going back, you kind of come out with a diagonal here. And then you just curve that back. And what you're going to see from the other side is just a peak of it. So, you're keeping that line here. This side's gonna peek over like this. So this has a uh, this angle. So if this is doing this, it's gonna do that. And now. We have our rounded rectangle on the front. We have the bottom line done. Have the outline roughly outlined. We're just gonna insert our badge. So you see the middle, you try to strike the middle. So that's about there. Usually, it's not exactly at the middle. You kind of lean towards this side because technically you don't see the other side. And you will see that it looks more natural. And here, just like the ellipse on the tire, we're gonna put a small one. Maybe we can define this a little bit more because there is a light catcher. We can go into sections and section lines, but not too much. So we're gonna curve that line, curve that line, and we're gonna just go a little bit above half, just a touch above, and hit that right there. Because this is gonna be a highlight in the future. It's gonna receive a little bit of a, a light. I know it's gonna catch. And it's gonna come back down. And this, the same thing. It's gonna be just very subtly round. And then come out again and start to touch up. A little bit of the wheels. So go towards the halfway point. Insert a small ellipse. Let's just go for something easy, like a six spoke. So we put one line here, one line there, 
And you can easily do four, but we're gonna do six. So we're gonna put one this way, put one this way, one coming towards you, and another one there. Four, five, six. You can already see it's doing, doing much better. One thing that I noticed is I put these flaps here. I kind of want to continue that. I want to emphasize that stance. So what we can do is do something like this. So now that we have our pencil drawing, lead pencil, let's just say, uh, kind of sketched out here, kind of liking how this is going so far. The front seems to be pretty accurate. We have a pretty nice converging uh, side here. We have the converging front. So perspective is working out. And now we're gonna get our markers. The reason we're gonna get our markers first is because when we come in with the outline, it's gonna be a clean outline. Usually, marker will pull the black from the darker side. So we're gonna start with our C2. Lighter, medium, ultimate dark. So that, that's usually how you kinda of wanna work. And even with uh, marker paper, Especially normal paper, it tends to bleed a lot, so you have to kind of keep moving quickly. So one thing to keep in mind when you're using markers is just keep it going. Complete your strokes, try not to stop because then it'll flood and it might uh, be too much ink. So remember that line that we did in the middle that was above the ellipse? We're going to use that as our core here, but we're not going to go straight at the very ends we're gonna kind of curve it down a little bit. just And then when it comes to the front, we're gonna curve it down just a little bit. And that's gonna be our top line for our marker point. And actually what this is gonna be called, this is the horizon line. The horizon off in the environment distance, it's what's reflecting onto the body. And then we're gonna go again to the front here and we're gonna try to have this little curve here, this little curve down. And then we're gonna go back up just a little bit, right before this, just, just to kind of see where our marker path is. Since there's a little bit of a light catcher in here in this area and in this area, we're gonna kind of mark that out just a little bit. So we're not going to touch this side, this is going to stay empty, and this is going to fade down, and this is going to fade down here, and let's just say our corner is going to be roughly there, and you'll see what these lines are corresponding to. So let's go ahead with the C2, and start to use that line. and then you just curve down. Follow that line as your perimeter and you just go faster, faster, faster. And you see how I'm gradating down. I went slow and that's obviously dark. Now we can kind of come in here, fill a little bit more color. And that's about it. So with that, and we're gonna come in here down a little bit and we're gonna go up and it's okay you can trace that line a little bit use that broad side for broad strokes thin side for thin strokes that's why I like Copics and go straight back there and try to keep your line smooth smoothness 
is what cars are all about. We're gonna hug this line here. Just kind of kiss that. Come around, boom, and fill that in. And then we're gonna hug that edge on the outside and go on the bottom. And keep flipping the paper, always flip the paper. Your hand has a motion to just do these strokes naturally so you're constantly doing the strokes in the direction that you're most comfortable with. You don't wanna be going in a direction you're not used to, so helps a lot. there and it's okay to practice like I go in the air to see if that's where it's gonna land and I just kind of touch it and then we can put a little bit of grade put a little bit there so we're gonna go inside the rim a little bit Just gonna kiss it ever so slightly. And you see that's making a little bit of a concave as we indicated with our spokes earlier and you'll see how that helps out. And we'll whip that around, whip that around. There we go. The C4. And we're gonna get in there and remember that line that we did on the horizon? We're gonna do that again. And I'm using the brush side. There is a felt side to this, which you can use, but I like using this one. It's just a little bit more fluid. Actually, let's just go ahead and use that side. It might be a little easier. That is about it. I'm gonna do it right here. Just kiss that. down here but it's okay so what we did here bringing that color down a little bit see that blending that down a little bit go back with the C2 and we're gonna touch that line that undercut that little little feature so now that we're at this step we've uh, put a little bit of value here we got our horizon we got uh, some some gradation going on showing a little bit of that curve you can kind of see the cars already starting to pop out but to take it to the next level we're going to uh, now go in with the line work and we will use some of the marker back in this, but I feel like it's a good spot to, to start, you know, adding this. Take your time with uh, achieving those lines that we put down before. All you're going to do is just hit it and then stop. So don't try to take too long. Just keep the pen moving. That's really the, the best way, the best uh, result that you can get. So we're just gonna start hitting some of those edges. And usually keep the thicker lines low so they emphasize the ground, 
they're hitting a little bit of shadow and then keep your lines a little bit wispy and light on the top. This is called veneering. Let's start with the base. So you can start to put in that ground. Take our small felt tip and then hit that headlight. big dark reflection here kind of going back so let's move that out a little bit more I think we can do that there we go so just very carefully just touch that That's it. That's all you need. That's all you need. Maybe you can put a little bit. So now you can see that we have our piece finished here. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, I'd say we made something pretty cool looking. Line work can always be better, but that's uh, always depending on your skill. And I was also trying to make sure that you can see it from my perspective using the GoPro. Pretty, pretty good overall, just for, you know, sketch that just doing over the weekend here. 
hopefully showing you guys that you can do this at home. You can just do this with pencil, just with marker. It doesn't have to be executed this way necessarily, but I will give you a template for you to use. So this will be available for you guys online and you can just go ahead and fill it in the way that you want to. You can go this style, you can go, you know, just keep it pencil, whatever you like. But just overall have fun. And remember Volkswagen ID Buzz is gonna be coming out soon, so that should be pretty cool. Can't wait to drive one myself. So for the meantime, take it easy. Bruno Gallardo signing out.